Hey kids, welcome to lesson 17, building an app, Canvas Painter. Draw when a key is pressed. This app now lets the user draw, but they have no control of whether the pen is up or down. And we had that problem when we were trying to write no row in our last lesson. Let's give the user the ability to choose when to put the pen down. We won't even need to add a new event handler to our app. You may have noticed that the event parameter includes information about whether certain keys were pressed when that event fired. They are stored in variables with names like shift key or alt key and are stored as Boolean values true or false. Hmm. I think I remember back to a couple lessons ago when we were looking at the information that we got out of our console.log statement that I did notice that the shift key and alt key both said false. I think we're going to use that information coming up here, kids. We're going to use the shift key variable to decide when we should draw circles. We have a do this, add an if statement inside your event handler function where the condition is based on the value stored in event.shift key. If shift key is true, then draw the circle. Looks like we have a little example here. So inside our if statement, we're going to put event.shift key. You may want to decrease your radius of your circle. We're using 20. They are suggesting 5, so we'll probably change ours to 5 as well. Run the program and confirm that the dots are only drawn when the shift key is pressed. The effect should be that the user can pick up and put down the pen to draw. Hold the shift key down and move the mouse to draw. Release the shift key to stop drawing. Looks like they are typing out hi to us, hellocode.org. I hope you are well. Well, this doesn't sound too bad. Really, the heart of this lesson, I think, is going to be adding our if statement into here. Looking down here at our code, this is our code from our previous lessons. What's happening is anywhere our mouse goes, a circle gets dragged. We have no control over it. We're going to add an if statement for that to happen. Where are we going to add the if statement? Well, it's going to have to be inside this event. And really, I want if the shift key is pressed for it to draw. So I think I want it to surround this circle command here. Let's hit enter a couple of times. Go to our control. Let's drag an if into here. And we want our if to be this event.shift key. So let's put event.shift key. Make sure you have an uppercase K there. What do we need in there? Well, we need our circle command, so we can drag that up. I think we're not going to use this console.log statement here. I commented it out to know what it was. I'm just going to delete it now because no point in carrying around code. We're really not going to use at this point. Hopefully, when the event shift key is pressed, it'll get a true statement in our console.log. And then we will put our pen down to draw. When there is no shift key held, then nothing should happen. Let's see if that's what's going to happen. Hit run. Mouse is in here. Nothing's happening. Let's hold the shift key down. There we go. We get all those letters here. Our letters are huge, though, because our circle radius is enormous. Let's change it from 20 to 5 like they suggested. Reset run. Shift key down. And it only puts a circle when the shift key is down. You can see I'm a little slow here. Hello, code.org. Do a no row here. Again, a little slow on letting my shift key up. And we have our North Royalton. I think our code is working like they want it to. Looking back up here to our do this, we added an if statement inside our event handler. And based off of event.shift key being down, we got a true statement out of it that drew a circle wherever the user was as long as that shift key was down. 
We also decreased the radius of our circle to five, ran the program a couple times to ensure it worked, and it worked great. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I will see you on the next lesson.